If you're thinking about proving an IP address, you find out if it's running on a VPN, what type of VPN is running on, and also the service, then IKE scan is for you. So IKE scan is a powerful tool you need to know in order to help you with this tax. In today's video, we'll be diving into IKE scan. It's a tool specifically designed for discovering and fingerprinting VPN servers using the Internet Key Exchange Protocol, which is otherwise known as the IKE. Stick with us as we walk you through every step, ensuring you can use IKE scan effectively and responsibly. Before we dive into practical steps, let's take a moment to understand what IKE scans does. So an IKE scan is used to identify VPN servers by sending internet key exchange requests and analyzing the response it gets. This allows you to detect VPN servers, their vendors, and even the supported encryption method. IKE is part of the IPsec protocol suite widely used for securing internet communication. Now IKE scan comes pre-installed in Kali Linux, but if you're using a different distribution or it's missing for some reason, you can install it using the following command in your terminal. Simply type in sudo space apt get install then you go ahead and type in IKE scan and then it is going to go ahead and install it for you. Now I already have IKE scan installed and therefore I'm not going to run it. Exactly, I have IKE scan here and I'm not going to run it again. That's because I'm using Kali Linux. So let's start with a basic IKE scan command. To scan a specific IP address, you can use the following syntax sudo space ike scan followed by the IP address you'd want to scan. For this demonstration, we'll use a place holder IP address such as 192. This command will send IKE request to the target, which is this over here. It's a place holder IP address, by the way. So it will send a request to the target and return any response, which may include information about the VPN service. Now, I'm doing this on my own network and hence I'm not running any VPNs. I will, however, provide one I got online to show you what to expect. But let's go ahead and hit this. And see what we are going to get just for curiosity's sake. So IKE is going to go ahead and just as I told you, I'm not running any VPNs here. By the way, I'm going to pull one from the internet and then I'll use that to explain to you what to expect. So we're pulling one from the internet. Now the scan came back telling us that our hosts is up, and then the main the main mode handshake return with a hash key over here, which I'm going to blur. And then it provided us with, um, let's see, it provided us with an IP address, a message ID, and also an SA, which means security association payload. So it tells us that the payload is having an encryption and the encryption ID is E. 3 des so let's say we wanted to do some cracking it will come in very handy if the scan identifies a vpn server it will return information about a vpn type such as cisco juniper or other vendors so ours came back telling us that it's a guess it's a cisco vpn concentrator so the output from IKE scan can initially seem overwhelming but it is crucial to understand key elements like the sap load which includes encryptions and hashing algorithms supported by the VPN server. So recognizing these details can help in determining the security posture of the security, I mean of the server and planning further penetration testing.
Now, IKE scan also allows for VPN server fingerprinting, which can identify the specific vendor and sometimes even the version of the VPN software. To perform a fingerprinting scan, you could use the ID option, which will with a specific ID payload. For example, let's say I wanted, let's say I wanted to do run this kind of command. I'll type in sudo space ike scan followed by the option ID equal one, and then I'll put in the IP address as I192 dot 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 dot. Just as I said, I'm not having any VPNs running. I'm not having any servers currently running on any VPN. As a result of that, we had to pull one from the internet. I apologize dearly for that. And that's how you use IKE scan to discover and fingerprint VPN servers in Kali Linux. I hope this tutorial has provided you with a clear understanding of how to effectively use this powerful tool. Remember all the content provided in this channel is for educational purposes only. So always use these tools responsibly and ethically. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button. Your support helps us continue creating high quality content like this. Don't forget to like the video and share it with people who might see this video as beneficial. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.